everyone, today I'm going to be making some Easter egg cookies because it is the Easter time and everyone loves a good cookie. So if you want to know how to bake these, then keep watching. Four cups of plain flour, two cups of granulated sugar, two eggs, half a teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of baking powder. Also one tablespoon of vanilla, and also one cup of softened unsalted butter. You're also going to need some food colourings, any food colourings you can use at all. I've chosen a mixture of red, blue, green and some writing icing and you're also going to need some icing sugar along with an egg shaped cookie cutter which I will show you how to make one of those in a few minutes. So there are all the ingredients and let's get cooking. The first step is to stir the flour the baking powder and the salt together and then once you've stirred that just set it aside. Just whisk it up, make sure it's all combined. Your next step is to get the sugar and pour it into a mixer. Along with that you want to add the butter and then once they're both in the bowl you just want to cream them until they're light and fluffy. Now you want to crack your eggs in, so I'm cracking one egg at a time and just turn the whisk on low and then add your second egg. Let that mix just so that the eggs are completely combined into the mixture. Once the eggs are combined you want to turn it off and scrape down the side of the bowl. Just to make, you want to keep doing this throughout cooking so that everything gets evenly incorporated into the mixture. Once that's done you want to add your vanilla. So it's one tablespoon of vanilla or one teaspoon I should say and then just whisk it again. Make sure that the vanilla is all mixed evenly into the batter. Once you've done that you want to gradually add your flour mixture a spoonful at a time just so that it doesn't go everywhere. So turn it on low and then just gradually add the flour one spoonful at a time like I said until all your flour is completely used up. It might seem a little bit dry but it's supposed to look like that, don't worry about it. Once your mixture is completely combined it should be very crummy. That's the texture you want for your biscuit. Now what you want to do is just leave it to the side and get some cling film and you want to divide the dough into three separate discs. It will be very crummy but this cling film will hold all the crumbs together and it will set. And then just for the two. The reason we're doing this is so that it cools down quicker. Once they're, once they're all cling filmed up, you want to put them in the fridge for about an hour. Try and put them at the back of the fridge where it's the coolest, so that they harden up and are easy to cut out. So I have this egg ring, but this was actually a round cooking ring and I just shaped it into an egg shape. So you could use one of these if you have, if you don't have an egg shaped cookie cutter or you don't have a baking ring then I'm going to show you how you can make an egg shape without that. So what you're going to need is some of these reusable or throwaway aluminium foil cheap things and these are perfect for making the ring. So basically all you're going to do is get a ruler which I don't actually have right now. Oops. Up there. So you just get a ruler and just cut with the back of a knife or the scissors, just mark three lines right down the center. It's a bit wonky there, but it's fine. So you have one, two, and then 
three. I'm not sure if you're, you're seeing this right, but you'll see what I mean in a minute. You're also gonna wanna cut another line at the other end. So what you're left with is four lines like that. Three rows of four lines. So you just wanna cut along this line and you wanna cut along this line. Okay, so what you're left with is a metal sheet like this and all you're going to do now is where you've made those marks, you just want to fold them, fold the two outer sections into it. So what you're left with is a metal strip that has now no jagged edges and all you're going to do now is shape this into a ring, shape it into an egg shape. Okay, so once you've got the right shape that you want, you just want to take a stapler and staple those two se sections. Like that. And there you have it. A little egg and a big egg. And of course you can just kind of like move it into the right kind of egg shape. It might be a bit wonky on one side. You can sort that out yourself. But there we go. Perfect. Okay, so now they're chilled, you want to roll out a sheet of parchment paper and take out one disc at a time and just unroll it between two sheets of parchment paper. This is so that you don't have to use any extra flour and no more flour will get into the mixture. It's just a lot easier, it doesn't stick to anything either. Once you've rolled that out, you want to get your cookie cutter and cut out the shapes. Use up all the dough. Once you've cut out all your shapes, you want to put them back in the fridge for a further 20 minutes or half an hour just so that they harden up a little bit more. Once they've been in the fridge, they, sh they, won't, they won't look any different, but now it's time to put them into the oven for about 15 minutes on gas mark 4 or 350 degrees. Once they come out, you want to put them on a wire rack. These ones, they should look a little bit golden brown. Let them cool for about 10, 10 to 20 minutes and then you can decorate. I'm just going to put some icing sugar into a load of cups because I'm using different colours. So I just want to measure out all the icing sugar. I'm just going to show you how I do one. I'm just going to put a bit of milk into some icing sugar, two or three teaspoons. And then to this I'm going to add a drop of food colouring. This is red but I'm only putting a little bit in so it becomes more of a pinkish colour. And then I'm just going to do that with all of the rest of my colours. Now the biscuit is cooled, I'm going to ice it. So I'm just going to use the back of a spoon and cover the whole egg or the whole biscuit with icing. Once that's set, we can add further detail, like I've done a few here, I'm just going to show you. So with a icing pen, I'm just going to add extra detail. You can do whatever patterns or designs you like. And that was one of the designs I did and I'm going to show you now I have all of my cookies finished and I've just done a variety of different designs and patterns some of them are not so good some of them are okay um, but I mean you can do whatever patterns you like thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time with another video bye